Hi, I'm Rachel Kaplov, and today we're going to be learning how to teach sixth graders multiplying fractions. So, let's look at two-thirds times one over five, one-fifth. We multiply the top numbers, two times one is two, and then we just multiply the bottom numbers, three times five is fifteen. The answer is two-fifteenths. Now, things can get a little bit more complicated when we look at fractions that have to be reduced. So let's look at two-thirds times one over eight. We have two times one is two, three times eight is twenty-four. We get two over twenty-four, but that's not the fraction in its simplest form, so they have to then reduce it, finding factors that go into two and twenty-four. Well, 2 goes into both 2 and 24, so we divide them both by 2, and we get 1 over 12. The way that I prefer to do this problem looks like this. 2 thirds times 1 eighth. Instead of just going right to multiplying, we look for numbers that share the same common factor on the top and the bottom, just like we did here, but before we're multiplying. So, 2 and 8 both share the common factor of 2. So we can take 2 from both of them, divide them both by 2, and we get 2 divided by 2 is 1. I just like to cross it off. 8 divided by 2 is 4. Now there's nothing else here that shares a common factor, so now we can multiply. 1 times 1 is 1. 3 times 4 is 12. 1 twelfth, just like we got there. But this way is simpler when you get bigger numbers, you don't have to multiply them all together, you can kind of reduce and then go. It takes less time. I'm Rachel, and thanks for learning with us today.